Hello guys, I have here a video showing you how to add a credits video to your quest in Skyrim, uh, through the creation kit, of course. Now, you can use this method to add uh, videos elsewhere in Skyrim through the creation kit, but I'm not really going to get into that now, because there are uh, a number of different ways you can add videos and such, so I'm going to keep it to a credits video. Now, to start, you'll want a free program called Rad Video Tools. It will convert a uh, normal video into a .bik or bink video, uh, which is a format that Skyrim likes. And you will of course need a video that you want as your credit sequence or your credits video. Uh, basically any standard video format is just fine. So I have a .mp4 here as you can see. And obviously uh, the creation kit, um, but that, that much should go without saying. Okay, so once you have Red Video Tools downloaded and installed and you have your video, you're going to want to copy your video into the directory that Red Video Tools is in. So I'm just going to right click it and go to Open File Location and it brings me to the directory that uh, the program is in. So I'm going to paste my video in here. And now from here I'm just going to go run uh, Red Video Tools. Here we go, radvideo.exe. And I'm going to double click that. And as you can see here, it uh, allows me to select a video from within that directory. So I'm going to select the video I just pasted there. And on the bottom left hand corner, it says bink it. And that just means to convert the video to a bink file. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to leave all this uh, the same. Now if I don't have audio, obviously I'll just uncheck compress audio and that's about it. You could fiddle with these settings if you like, though I haven't. So I can't really tell you uh, if one is good and one is not. Either way, uh, uh, below this icon on the right here, you'll see it says Bink. So you just click that, and it'll convert the video to a Bink file. Now, uh, this will take a little while, as it does not use GPU acceleration. And um, if you don't have a fast processor, yeah, it'll just take a few minutes. Don't worry about it. Sit tight and come back in about 10 minutes. Okay, after the video has actually converted itself to the Bink format, you can just hit Done right here, and you can X out of Rad Video Tools. You can go ahead and copy your converted video, the .bik one, and you can copy it to your Skyrim installation under Data and under Video. You can just paste it there, and rename it My Video Zero One. Though uh, you can keep the name as you like it. Um, later on though you will have to alter one minor thing. Alright and exit out when you're done that and you're gonna wanna go ahead and open up the creation kit. Okay with your quest loaded up you're gonna wanna go to your quest dialog box and for me my quest completes at stage 20 and I want my credits to play after I'm done the quest. So I'm going to right click and create a new quest stage and I'm going to call that 30. Then I'm going to go to stage 20, the stage where my quest completes and under Papyrus Fragments I'm going to type set stage and I'm going to make that stage 30. And then after that I'm going to type utility dot wait and in parentheses 1.0 or you could just type 1 that's fine. And now I'm going to go to my newly created stage and create a new log entry. And now I'm going to go ahead and paste a bit here. You can of course, uh, I'll of course put it in the description for you. And this basically all it does is disables the player's controls a couple seconds before it starts to fade out. It plays a video and it fades back in and then re-enables the player's controls. Okay, I just want to stop the video very, very briefly here and note that there should be parentheses after the enable player controls. I don't know why there's not. I must have accidentally backspaced while copying and pasting. I don't know how. But uh, do keep that in mind if you do still want the uh, disabling and enabling of the player's controls in there. And um, of course, if you do not want the controls for the player enabled or disabled, I should say, you can delete the lines at the top and bottom. And if you decided to keep the name of your video as you initially had it, you're going to want to go ahead and find this bit here where it says My Video 01. And you're going to want to call it whatever 
you named your video. I just jammed a bunch of keys there, but you get the idea. Name that back. And that is actually it. It's a pretty simple process. All it really is is using more or less one singular command and then just, you know, fading in and out and whatnot. But um, now I'm going to go ahead and click OK on my quest here. And I'm going to save the plugin, of course, and exit out. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut over to Skyrim to show you how it all works.